Hey guys, it's Doom49, and there's been some pretty big news that have dropped around Battlefield and the future of it. It seems like 2042 is finally coming to an end, but that turns the page to Battlefield 2025, and a lot of things are going to be happening here. As you guys already know, the most recent news we left it on was a studio being shut down that was working on Battlefield 2025. This studio was Ridgeline Studio and they got rid of that entire studio. They were working on the single player. Now, the problem with that is that kind of makes you worried about the future of this new game, considering how we've had a rough patch with Battlefield 5 and 2042, and then hearing that and knowing there's about a year or two left for the next Battlefield, it's very worrying. But there's been some new news that just came out. After Battlefield 2042 Season 7, it's been decided that they're going to stop working on 2042. They're all done. That's it. And they and to be honest with you, we've pretty much lived on board time for 2042. And I can only explain Battlefield 2042 in two ways, one of which is that it feels like a bunch of puzzle pieces put together that don't fit well. And it truly felt like they were trying to make a battlefield that wasn't battlefield. So in short, it was like Call of Duty's attempt at battlefield that sucked at both both battlefield and call of duty it just couldn't deliver on either of those and that's what 2042 felt like so it was a bunch of mixed everything and then with the patches and everything it felt like they were trying to satisfy everyone and couldn't satisfy anyone and that's the thing you can't satisfy everyone when it comes to making a game and some of the greatest games out there that we know of for battlefield is battlefield 3 battlefield 4 bad company 2 and even battlefield 1 and actually there's been a poll done in reddit where everybody decided that battlefield 1 was the most favorited and top-notch game to be honest with you i kind of agree to an extent because it had that war atmosphere it had that amazing sound um and it was up to date and it gave us what we wanted if you can get that with a Battlefield 3 environment, you get the war torn, you get the music, you get the whole teamwork aspect and class system, and you get the server browser that we've always loved. I think this could be a very good Battlefield. And I keep stressing that we really need a server browser. But let me continue talking about Battlefield 2025 here. So what we know is that the team, DICE team, that was working on 2042, that's no longer going to be updating 2042, is going to move over to work on Battlefield 2025. Not only that, we're also going to be having Motive, Motive Studio, come over to work on Battlefield 2025. And from the gist of it, I think Motive is going to be the ones working on the single player campaign. But I'll let you guys decide. Here's the statement from EA, or DICE you could say, on Battlefield. While we've enjoyed and are proud of creating these seasons of additional content for Battlefield 2042, it is now necessary for us to turn from the present to the future. What this ultimately means is that Season 7 will serve as the final season for Battlefield 2042. After Season 7 concludes, we will continue to support the game with new in-game challenges, events, modes, and of course, ongoing maintenance, but we are moving away from delivering official seasons. We know this news may be disappointing. However, as we looked at what the future of the series required, it became clear it was time to, for us to shift our resources and focus to be fully dedicated to what comes next. As I mentioned in previous updates, we have an ambitious vision to embark and unlock the vast potential of the series class-based squad play and immersive intense battles. To that end, Motive Studio, the talented developers uh, known most recently for their work on the critically acclaimed remark or remake of Dead Space and Star Wars Squadron, are building a team focused on Battlefield on, at their studio. I'm just going to break this down for y'all. <laughs> this is that's that's their statement, but I'm going to break it down for y'all. This is what I get from all this dice. I think are working on the battle royale. All right. I think they're working on that with Criterion. They're going to be doing that together. I think Criterion is also working on like physics and stuff with the cars and all that and the vehicles. Ripple Effect, I think, is working on the main single or multiplayer. I think Ripple Effect is taking on 
the entire aspect of the multiplayer and they're working on it now if you remember to clarify ripple effect these guys are the guys that did battlefield cte so if you remember battlefield 4 and battlefield 1 we had a really good cte team that always delivered that was dice la they're now ripple effect so i think ripple effect is working on the multiplayer i think dice is working on the battle royale the free to play battle royale with criterion and then that brings us motive and motive is clearly a team that purely focuses on single player so it looks like they're going to be making the single player and based on the previous games they created that they've mentioned they were good only problem is they don't really have much time because this game is supposed to release in 2025 so how much can they really fix how much can they really add and what did ridgeline work on prior that's my big concern the next thing is are they going to deliver on what we want? From what I understand, every time we've always wanted a battlefield, it has always been that we we truly want, like honestly, like everybody I talk to that's a true battlefield fan is like, yo, look, I want a battlefield three game and I want it to have that amazing atmosphere and music that battlefield one had, mix that together and we're pretty golden. You could probably take some little things from every single battlefield to make it better. Like I think the plus system we had in 2042 was a pretty cool thing, but that's the only thing from 2042. Um, and then like Battlefield 5, I wanna say like the V rocket was kind of cool to call in. I, Battlefield 1, we could also say the behemoths was kind of cool. Every once in a while you get that stuff. So maybe certain game modes would have it, but you guys get the idea, right? Like just take a bit of all the best and put it together. Problem is, DICE kind of didn't see that image. They knew they had to change and adapt the game to make it uh, entertaining for people, but they kept, I feel like they've been focusing so much on a battle royale that it's still gonna happen in this next one, even though nobody's really asking for it. But from, I guess, based on this is what happens when you look at statistics and analytics of what people are playing, they figure from the executive level that everybody wants a battle royale. So expect a battle royale, all right? It's gonna happen, we can't fight it. And to be honest with you, I don't mind it as long as we get what we want for a Battlefield game. I know this is weird for me to be talking about Call of Duty in a Battlefield video, but I feel like Call of Duty did it right. In terms of they delivered what Call of Duty was in the multiplayer. It's still stuck true to it. Some of us might say it's boring and yeah, they need to change it and it's still, but it's still the same dang Call of Duty, all right? They didn't change anything with the base Call of Duty. They still kept supporting it, adding to it. And then they said, let's get creative with it and started creating a Battle Royale on top of it with even DMZ and just giving people that free to play aspect. Had DICE done this, I think Battlefield would have been fine and everybody would have had both the best of both worlds. Problem is, they said, how about we give you a Battle Royale and also mess with the main formula, Battlefield. And that's where things went downhill. So I just hope they really realize and go back to their original. And I truly think Ridgeline, or sorry, Ripple Effect is the team that's gonna do it and go back to the original because they're the team that worked on CT and truly know what the fans want. And I have a lot of faith in them. I, I honestly do. So I'm hoping the multiplayer is gonna be really good battle royale couldn't care less <laughs> honestly but i don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below how do you feel about all of this all of this news that came out and everything i just ranted about here i love y'all and i'll see you guys in the next episode